friends welcome to free cad part modeling tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn how to model a part with the help of a dynamic data so if you are not aware about the dynamic data add-ons then it is a add-on which can be used in the replacement of a spreadsheet as we know that we can model our part with the help of a spreadsheet and we can define the our values but instead of a spreadsheet you can simply use dynamic data to install the dynamic data add-on you have to go to the tools and then add-on manager on add-on manager you have to search for dynamic data so just type here dynamic so you will get here the dynamic data just install the add-on and restart your free cat so as I have already installed it so here is the sketch here is the sketch and here is the uh, rough dimension which I have made and uh, I will show you from the scratch how to use the dynamic data add-on to make your model parametric and with the help of dynamic data main benefit is that it is very easy to use as compared to spreadsheet so here is my free cat which is totally blank so I will go to the file and I will create a new files so as I am in a part design workbench we are going to design a part but before inserting a body in our model tree we have to insert dynamic data so so make sure that once you install the dynamic data it should be visible okay so I have a I will keep it here okay so first I will create object so once I created the object I will click on the values so here in a dynamic data you will define the value with respect to length angle area acceleration color direction distance so many things but uh, with respect to our model we have only length dimensions so I will select the length and uh, here I will give my first value which is the length 785 total length of the part so I will give here 785 and I will say apply ok so here dd length one I do not want so I will remove it so this is the dd length and uh, again I will click on add properties length and I will give it blank height so I will give here blank blank height and its value is 27 so I will give here 27 I will say ok so blank height is added now I will give again one value blank width blank width and its value is a 107 so I will say ok so plank width 107 and then rounding radius so I will again add one property which is the length I will say rounding radius and its value is 20 and I will say ok so here I get the underscore because I have used the space this is not necessary you can directly type your value but I am fine with it so here are the values which I have uh, defined and these are the values which will be your base values if you are designing any part so now I have defined the value now I will create the body and I will create the sketch and I will select this YZ plane and now I will sketch it and I will show you how to link these dimensions so 
I will draw a horizontal line and I will make this sketch as it is and I will show you how to link the dimensions so here is my dimension 27 so I will select this point this point and I will give vertical dimensions which is 27 so the dimension 27 is is our plank width so I will I will double click on dimension and I will go here and I just type dd dot I will say plank so it is a plank width so I will say ok sorry not plank width it is plank height so I will go dd dot plank height and I will say ok so if you see here it is automatically taken the dimension 27 and I will say ok now I will make this center point and this horizontal and this plank width 107 and rounding radius is 20 so what I will do I will draw two construction line here so I will simply draw a line here and a line here and I will say this point and line constraint and I will say this point and arc constraint here and I will make this line and this arc as a tangent okay I will make this point and this arc as a tangent ok so now I will select these two lines and I will make it construction I do not want to be part of the sketch so now I will select these two points and I will say horizontal dimensions and I will give my plank width 107 ok so I will go to the here and uh, I will type dd dot plank plank width ok so it is automatically taken the values 107 and from this point to this point I will give again a dimension and I will make it dd dot plank width divided by 2 so ok now here is the rounding radius so I will select my this arc and I will give radial dimension so here I will ring the parameters my rounding radius is 20 to so dd dot r rounding radius ok and I will make this one and this one as equal ok so if you see my sketch is fully constrained now I will close it and my overall length is uh, DD length is 785 so I will extrude it and here I will give my parameter dd dot length dd length and I will say ok, okay so it took the value of 785 
and here you can give dimension first uh, two dimensions okay if you want to it to be symmetric then give the two dimension here so in that case you have to change here divide by 2 okay and same way you have to here in uh, again link the parameters dt dot uh, length divide by 2 say okay so if i origin my uh, if i see my part so it is is in totally symmetric so the magic of this uh, dynamic data is that now you do not have to again go to the sketch and change the values okay if i wanted to increase my part length so i will go here i am increasing my part length with a uh, 1 meter so here i entered it so if you see my part has been modified and if i see my plank width plank width if i wanted to increase by 100 mm so i will say here 2 and i say enter so if you see here the plank width has been changed okay now i again if i wanted to change it so again i go to the dynamic data and reduce by 100 mm so if i enter it so this is modifying perfectly if i wanted to change the height by 27 to 37 if i say enter so, so if you see height is updating and if i wanted to again my previous value which was 27 so if i so this is the beauty of dynamic data add-on you do not have to use the spreadsheet to control your dimensions so this is all about this tutorial and i ha i hope you have liked this tutorials if you like my videos then you can buy a cup of coffee for me and link is given in the video descriptions so this is all about this video i will come with the next tutorial as soon as possible thank you for watching